what's up folks welcome to another episode of zach sucks at games here on another letdown my name is zach from another letdown media and the this is difficult video game podcast and i suck at games this is the show where i play through games that either i have not played ever have not played in a very long time or i'm just generally bad at i did not grow up with video games so this is my opportunity to uh learn and grow and uh play through some stuff that i've missed over the years either missed in the sense that i haven't played it in a while or just it didn't ever appear on my plate um so we're in the middle in between games or sort of in a weird like game limbo space uh between finishing up the mass effect franchise um chrono trigger before that and uh the drop of spider-man 2 for the playstation 5 um so i, I was looking for something very specific that like would demonstrate kind of where my head's at right now uh i have been reading an absolute ton of of uh, Sherlock Holmes and H.P. Lovecraft books, um, and I love it when some you know of the, the pastiche writers out there uh, cross over those two things. And I discovered that there is a game that merges the two franchises. Uh, it's called Sherlock Holmes: The Awakened. So that's what we're playing in between uh, Mass Effect and Spider-Man. Uh, if when I mean we'll play this as long as we can. I did install the DLC. I was really enjoying it last time, so we're, we'll play through the whole thing. Um, if, if Spider-Man does come out, we will take a break from this and come back to it, um, but it is really fun. We just, we kind of just started scratching the surface and, like, started to figure out the gameplay loop, and um, it's it's really, it's, it's challenging, uh, but not overwhelmingly so, and it really does force you to behave like Sherlock Holmes, which is kind of cool. Um, so we're going to continue our, our adventure uh, in and around Baker Street. Uh, as with all the shows that we host here on the Another Letdown Media channel, as well as the This Is Difficult podcast network at large, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's cut to that, do the thing, there it is, and we'll continue right where we left off. Make sure the sound is outputting to the right device here. All right. Oh, press any button to continue. I can do that. All right. Um. The coughing won't go away, and the doctor is too pricey. Okay. Um. So let's. I'm gonna take a look at just like right off the bat. I'm gonna take a look at the mine palace. All right. So I, we're looking for Kimihia. It's a Maori dude. We're looking for where he is and who abducted him. Um, so let's just see what we got. We need two pieces of... Two, pieces, two documents and testimonies and uh, one observation of our own. So, all right, that seems good. Uh, there's our scan. There's some people we can talk to. Excuse me, just one question. I'm trying to help you with this. All right, these guys Is are. This familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Oh, All right, what, I, maybe Watson can get me oriented in the right direction here. Harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Okay. Uh. Coughing won't go away. Doctor's too pricey. Well, Watson's a doctor. Is that I can run this? Okay. Here it's been a week and I can't remember the controls. Um, what's in here? Oh, this is the okay. This is the little boy. Um, that's fine. We already interrogated him. Uh, would help if I could. Um. I can pin the evidence. Whoa, wall. Alright, what's through this door? Nothing. Okay, so that's a dead end. Um, Watson, get out of my way. Oh, we got. Uh, Muckrakers. I got a new, new case, the Silver Tide. 
What's that like DLC? Or is that is that that must be DLC? All right. All right. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Okay, so these these guys um. They're like mudlarks or something like that. The water has a curious whitish tinge to it. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions here. Very, uh basic of you Watson can you satisfy my curiosity sorry sir I can't help you um. help me please I don't think anyone here knows the answer you should ask someone else I'll step I'll right over this guy's question. corpse I don't think anyone here knows the answer all right shut ask up someone. you satisfy my curiosity I can't tell you because I don't know hey what's up RPD all right um, so last time what you missed last time is we we kind of discovered the the core game loop um, oh you know what let me actually talk to Watson um, which involves like using all sorts of different aspects of Holmes I, mind I could try and flag someone down like who down, Watson? Wait a minute. Oh, can I? If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Is that hinting that we go to like a tavern or something? I... He says figured out just as much as he says deduced. Oh, I'm in detective mode. Why am I still Are you able to help me? Oops, sorry, I know nothing. Why am I still in detective vision? Or am I? There it is. Okay. Alright. Uh, now, I saw something here. Oh, that's right. Okay. That was the whole necrosis thing. Um, what's through here? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, can't go through that door. All right, I'm gonna actually take a quick look at the mine palace here. Nope, nothing. Uh, better to look for the source of the contamination upstream. Okay. Upstream. <laughs> yeah, the, actually, the, the core game loop of this game is very Arkham. Uh, and I don't mean that in the terms of Arkham Horror. I mean it in Arkham Asylum. Um, okay. won't go away and the too Upstream has got to be this way, right? Presumably, I can't... Oh, wait a minute. There's a bridge out over here. Can't do anything there. Oh, uh, okay. So this behaves like Call of Cthulhu in that you can't go in the water. That's fine. Random duders. Um, can I go through here? What's in here? Oh, this is the barmaid. I already talked to her. Um... Oh. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. Well, that's disgusting. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? <laughs> where does one find a dirty Summers? That sounds disgusting. Hmm. I see. My advice, keep away from him. Uh, that's not going to happen. Okay. 
Uh, let's take a look at, according to her, Summers is a dangerous man who has no idea where to find him. Uh, I'm just going to kind of look at... Doesn't look like anything to me. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. So you can, like, anytime you interact with a, an NPC like this, like a proper NPC, I, my, my solution is just to feed them every piece of evidence you've got. Um, I heard a kitty. Uh, Alright. So we need to find Dirty Summers. I guess. Just take a quick look. Um, but I don't think I have enough. Oh, I do. Here. Let's see if I get anything here. Looking for a green check mark? No. So none of those are valid. All right, great. It's, uh, so that what, what I'm doing there is eliminating possibilities. It's the whole uh, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever's left, however improbable, must be the truth. Um, So yeah, I'm just quite, quite honestly just eliminating possibilities there in the Mind Palace, um, or whatever they're calling it. How come I can't? If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I think I might have just gotten my pockets picked. Um, where were those mudlarks? Sure. I think it was through here. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. Yeah, that's what I thought. You should ask someone else. The fact that you, these dialogues are unskippable and they're really slow is quite irritating. Oh my god, I got another case. Oh yeah? May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with this. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. Excuse me, just one question. I wish I could be help, but I can't. Sorry. Alright. That's Warehouse 3, it looks like. So... Presumably Warehouse 2 is nearby. Yeah. Who just said yeah? Well, I installed the DLC, which I'm starting to think might have been a mistake, because... Now I'm getting, like, threads crossed. Which is... Are you able to help me? No, sir. I've never had it. Alright. This is Pier 3. Uh, okay, give me the map. Oh! Hmm, okay. The fast travel to fan Shantytown. Um, Alright, where are those mudlarks again? There they are. Oh, hold on. There's a thingy. Pile of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Can't go that way. Who said that? Who's saying that? Can I ask you a question? Oh, wrong evidence. Nothing won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Is this familiar to you? Oh, I can't help you with this. Wasn't there one about Dr. Watson? There he is. Is this familiar to you? Oh, I can't help you with this. Weird. May I ask you something? 
I wish I could be a Valk, but I can't. Sorry. If we stay out much longer, I'm oh, shut up, Do you feel like a meat pie? All right, so upstream, I guess, is this way. Oh, there's a it's been decomposing. dead dog. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. All right, so we're going to continue the upstream. The goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Okay. So that's not there. There is a door here. But does that just bring me back to the Nepali boy? I think it does. No, I'm not stuck. I'm just... I, well, I mean... You're always stuck in, in home stuff. It, that's part of the fun. I think it's part of the fun. Yeah, we're investigating. We're doing investigating. Uh, let me see. Oops. Hello. Wrong button. Uh, I can't go that way, so... Oh, come on. The coffee won't go away. The dog is, is it, too Could close. it be across here, maybe? Um... Nope. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. What about this guy fishing over here? No. Come back to him. Um, this goes this way. All right, cool. Can I go this way? No. Can I go through? Yes, I can. That was locked. Kombucha time? Actually, it's not yet. Uh, I'm still working on my, my fuzzy water here, but soon, Blink. That said, cheers, hydrate or dihydrate. Yeah, I do need an umbrella, you're right. Or Watson does. Holmes never uses an umbrella. Oh, and I recognized it as a play on the title. I, I did get that. Get out of my way. Um, what about this guy? What's he doing? Almost no fish the last couple of days. That was a very, very helpful comment. John, move! Move, old man! Thank you. Alright, did I go this way? I went that way. satisfy my curiosity it is a shame i can't answer your question okay what's this do you know anything no about just another person Ugh, i'm sorry but i don't know anything very helpful okay the boats are not actually there very helpful um the coffee won't go away and the doctor's too pricey The dead dog decomposing in the water has been there for weeks and would have started the disease sooner. The coughing won't go away and the doctor's too pricey. Uh 
coffee won't go away. The doctor's too greasy. Oh, hide that doggy. RPD, I did try out um, Clash of Demon Head. It's a lot of fun. That's a dead end, so let's move on. Uh, what else have I got? Oh yeah, that's the ghost thing. That's the main quest. Let's pop back over here for a minute. It bothers me that there's no, like, objective map here. Not that I guess I expect that there would be one, but... Like, just saying, oh, yeah, maybe go this direction. Like, if you're looking for this building, it's in this direction. Because it doesn't... Oh, right back at the... Right back where I was... That's a nuisance. Uh... What's that noise? I think this is where I just was, like a little bit ago. Oh, those are the two that gave me the quest. So, where else two has got to be around here somewhere? You'd think it like have a giant two on it or something. Ten. Oh, dang. Here we go. Broken through by force recently. Cart tracks fell sideways under the weight. A recent cars crash. All right. What is that evidence for? Oh, cool. Okay. So, is it this car crash? Well, we discovered something. Um... Spade chemicals. Aha. Okay. Let's take a look at this. We got Brian. Never load this trolley with more than half the weight of Danny Nutcracker or 200 pounds at a time. She did the Mexican flamingo with. J what is this? And Barbados has asked for a ton of phenol, so let's hurry up. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spade chemicals. I wonder what that is. Dead the fish. Scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Okay. 
Now I got more information about the card accident. I wonder if I can ask people about the card accident. May I ask for your assistance? Of course I know. To cut a long story short. Okay. Warehouse 5. We found Warehouse 5. You know, a lot of people say Warehouse was significantly better with the <laughs> franchise. I think Warehouse 2 is more. Alright. Uh, warehouse 5. We found Warehouse 5, didn't we? Alright. Well, now we're looking for Warehouse 2 and Warehouse. There's Warehouse 4. I saw Warehouse 10. Well, can I ask you a question? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. If nobody knows the answer, why would I ask anybody else? Eleven. By the time we're of Warehouse Five, though, things have gotten very direct to video. <laughs> Well, then they started re renaming them Warehouse, uh, re renaming the Warehouse franchise uh, uh, Precinct when they got around to, warehouse, or to Precinct 13. Assault on Precinct 13. Yeah. Alright, Warehouses. Here we go. It's good. Uh, that's two. Alright. Good evening, Constable. I heard some people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. Gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Of course Turns she did. out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. Theater. I went in and, well, it is a bit creepy. But I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat. Worse the than Madame Tussauds? Damp explosion. Good night, sir. There's a lot of love for the, the historically significant 7th entry retro warehouse. Alright, so I found a retro an investigation scene. Let's go in. Alright, let's take a look. That's the exit. So looks like we got this bit. Oh. An effective contraption. It still works. Alright, well, we're gonna run downstairs to start. <laughs> Get out of the way, John. There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. Okay. We got a handprint here. They opened the casket and left marks. Thereby surprising absolutely no one. A herbal odor with an ethylic base. Liquor. All right, cool. All right. How are they walking up the walls? That's different. Oh, shoes. Who is this intended to scare? Not you, apparently. Alright, so we got some paint. Phosphorus, used recently. Yep, phosphorus and paint. Makes perfect sense. Where is this going? Oh, we got a concentration scene. Several crates are missing. All right, so it looks like we got four targets for the concentration. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Okay, good to know. Something here. Oh. Somebody had fun. <laughs> it's exactly what I thought. Nice to be right sometimes. Inspired by the legend. But do we have classic concentration? No. 
All right, so we're missing one th one piece of evidence. It looks like. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. All right. So does that mean? Yeah, okay, we're still missing a piece of evidence. I'm gonna see what happens if I open this. Oh, it puts me right outside. Okay, that's not where I wanted to be. Um, guess I'm gonna have to get my Alex Trebek somewhere else. <laughs> All right, this is still reading unchecked. Who's this intended to scare? Oh, there's another target right there. So you have to, like, toggle through these to figure out what happened and in what order. Yeah, there's no way that's the case. There's got to be something on the top. Oh, validate. Right. Okay. So second... So I need to find that last piece of evidence. Does the horse have something coming out of his butt? Uh, I think it's reins. Just that last piece. I'm going to check upstairs again. Going to Detective Vision. There's some stuff going on here. Doesn't look like I can step out on it, though. Uh, okay. So that's like the... Yeah, the... Oh, there's something. Missed it by walking over it. A small cart left those tracks. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Let's go into detective vision and we will target that one and hit that and validate. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. Alright, so we finished that investigation. Uh, so let's... Oops. The sea storm of the warehouse has a business of theater props. The constable can be found around the cursed remain pub after the search. Should we need him? Well, it sounds like we do. Um, and then we still need to find warehouse five. So let's do that. While we're in the warehouse district, let's find warehouse five. <laughs> RPD says that's a tail. What's wrong with Excuse you? me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. So. Alright, looking for warehouse five. Back to working for warehouse five. That's three. If they go in ascending order, then we should be going in the right direction. I think I saw warehouse four back here. Did I? I could be wrong. Between a four and a six. I hope so. But there's 11, so I think all bets are off, Blink. That's a 12. Whoa. 
12 does have a red plus on it. It's locked, so I gotta have I gotta open that up. That's probably part of the main investigation. That would be my guess. That's four. That's three. It's just on the other side of the water here. Looks like a workhouse, honestly. Ah, warehouse five. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. There we go. Good. We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. Okay. Cool. Uh, does that... Mudlarks are still waiting for instructions. Okay, so I gotta go back to the mudlarks. And I gotta find the pub. I'm actually gonna take a quick look at the map. Yep, Curse Mermaid. Okay, great. So that means... Actually... Go clean your thing and then think about what you've done. So I gotta find that constable. He might be just like at the pub. Like properly at the pub. Let's see if he's here. Uh, that's Watson. No. Uh, actually, can I. Have I unlocked any dialogue what options? Can I get you? No. Okay, it's fine. Watson, for the love of Pete, move out of my way. There he is. It's Constable Dum Dum. I don't believe in ghosts. I did when I was a kid. My older brother used to creep outside. Hold on. Mud. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I don't whisper at me through the window. Papul, Papul, this is Grandma. Who is this Pete you speak of? It was scary. Adam's buddy. Digger, so I don't believe in ghosts. Played a game with him once. I don't like him. He became a great digger. Okay, fine. So I don't believe You're ghosts. being useless. I don't like him. Here's the mudlarks. Let's uh, talk to them. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. Spade chemicals. That is also true. That's that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about a friend? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company, but now get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you. We'll do that. Let's go to the cheap doctor for help. All right. The Silver Tide case complete. Look at that. We did a thing. It only took us 43 minutes, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Cool. So that's uh, that's that. I mean, why would you want anything but the deer stalker? All right, so it looks like we need to track down the cart. Um, became a grave digger, so I don't believe in ghosts. I don't like them. All right, hold on. I'm going to pop back to the warehouses here. Oh, this okay. This is the one I already cleared up. Great. So, oh wait a minute. Oh, track the cart. Go out the back way. Duh. I'm an idiot. 
All right, cart was this way. And then... Ma Dalton swears she saw a ghost of last year. Let's see the words up there. Must be serious. All right, so there's... Could it be... I wish I could be a valve, but I can't. Sorry. Alright. Oh. Maybe they went down this way? Does, has this guy seen a cart? May I ask you something? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Small update on something from the Discord. My streak managed to get to three builds in three days before. Oh, wow. That's, that's impressive, RPD. Who are you working on now? I can't remember. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Who's this guy? Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Uh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. May I ask what you're doing? This is where the ship sank the other day. Nurse is the one I. I'm announced. trying to work out how sort of we'll it. remove okay. it. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, so like, there's a lot of Cockney accents here. No clue. She was talking this guy almost sounds Geordie. Now, where was I? All right, let's take a, uh, let's do an observation here. It's 5'5", five, five, average height. Yep, ink stands, HM cuz. Hillside pocket watch, mint solid gold. No muscle tone, not brownie. All right. Uh, he's a customs officer. I'm gonna think he's a thief. I think he's a thief. What are you on about? What are you on about? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. What are you on about? Can't help you there, mate. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Can't help you there, mate. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. Okay, that was very unhelpful. Have you seen this before? My card? Where did you do Next that? up is a, That's a crime scene in Baker Street involving <laughs> young servants kidnapping, I might add. So you're doing um I, I, No. Dead by Daylight so stuff? Without my consent. How else would it end up there? Okay. Well, let's check the mine palace. Check in. Ah, no hits. Darn. All right. Let's try this one. Any hits? Yeah, we got a hit. Ooh, okay. Hold on. Hit. Yeah, that's a hit. 
Dirty Summers is the abductor. We did it. Nice. That's cool, man. Good stuff, good stuff. What are you gawping at? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? Oh, God. A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Okay. Boulder Dash. Sorry, you lost me there. Darn. All right, I don't think I have enough evidence to. Well, let Mr. Souls. Okay, so I have that. And how do I fit in all this? So okay, I need more evidence. Take my Before I can uh, confront that dude. But that's progress on the main quest, so that's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, I really need to figure out where Kimahia is. I thought I already did these. Yeah, I did it. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right. Uh, what was I looking for? I need to track down that cart. That's right. Which is there? No big deal. Could you help me? It's a shame we can't answer your question. Could you help me? Sorry, sir. Yeah. Okay. Could you help me? How about Can I you? help you with this? All right, that's fine. All right, so I came out of the I came out of the warehouse here. What about this guy? Help me, please. Sorry, sir. Can't help you. Okay. Guess not. Um, would it have gone straight down this alley? Perhaps. May I ask for your assistance? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. And the horse when he's saying yes. Okay. No is the answer here. It's a path. I don't think a cart could fit down it, though. Seems unlikely, anyway. I think that just brings me back where I was. What's over here? you something? No, sir. I've never heard of it. Okay. Um. Whoa. Major biographical glitch there. Alright, I gotta find that. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Hmm. What am I missing? Well, this guy. Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. All right. Where could a cart have gone? Came out here. I'm going to go back in for a second.
There's tracks there. Oh. Well, there we go. That's better. Um, where could a cart have gone? Okay, cart can't get past this pylon here, so that doesn't make any sense. Cart can't fit down that alley. Cartnega. Here's I can tell there's only one possible place it could have gone. That's even this is too narrow. Right? Yeah, no, there's no way. So I guess maybe it could fit down here? then this is as far as it could go. It's narrow there. Oi, you, what are you doing? Can I get up there? I don't know. No. Well, maybe. Hmm. Ask for your assistance. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. No good. Okay. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Where could the car have gone? Oh, hey, the mudlarks packed it in. They actually listened. stupid that I'm missing? There might be. Hold on. Uh... Okay, I'm just... I'm going in here. Watson's typewriter. Okay, so factual inaccuracy. Watson can't type. Uh, Mary Watson recorded the majority of his stories. Oh. 
Oh, am I tracking? I'm tracking this hand cart. I'm looking for the wrong thing. Okay. Learning and growing. Okay. Tracks there. Where do they go from here? There we go. Okay. We got it now. Dr. Tippett's electric pectobrain. Patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the right. nation slowly. Blink it is time. Finally, kombucha time. Peach paradise, per usual. God, that's delicious. All right. So we got to figure out where he turned from here. He may not have. Some of these medicines drag the, the drags the patient to a very hasty death. It's a true statement. My golly. Actually, did, did we pick up? We did pick up evidence here. Uh, only natural ingredients. <laughs> sure. Move, John. All right, hold on. Let's... Okay, there's our. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Are you able to help me? I think I can help you. Aha! There we go. Dr. Tippett's electric pecto brain can be found in shanty towns. It's dispensed in a yard to the sick and suffering. Okay. Let's head to the shanty towns then. won't go away and the doctor's too pricey may I ask you something I wish I could be about but I can't sorry could you help me I can't help you with this all right sick and suffering that pig just fell over did that pig just die Coffin won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. I should have helped Alma put out the posters. Okay, no. If she hadn't been in the I'll do, baby. That'll do. Alright. Figure out where they're distributing this stuff. Now the pig stood back up, so I guess we're okay. Help me, please. I wish I could be of help, but I can't. Sorry. Oh, who's this? Help me, please. I can't tell you because I don't know. Drunk dude banging on a wall. <laughs> Hello. Do you know anything about this? Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. Let's try in here. Oh, this is the back door to the pub. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if she knows anything. After the incident the other day, it seems nope. customers are okay. staying at home. That's fine. Uh... Cop know anything? He became a grave digger. No. So I don't believe in ghosts. I don't like them. May I ask you something? Come on, Rando. The Simpsons yeah, line goes. I'm a drunk. I don't know how to do anything. Let's 
that pissing in the corner. Can I ask you a question? It's a shame I can't answer your question. Okay, that's where we just were. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need oh, some. Oh, shut up about your you belly, you Watson. Where are we? Oh, hello. Field. Let's observe the fake doctor. Oh, it's such a baby face. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I actually have that. Uh... You look great. You look like a baby face, huh? There we go. Almost a doctor. <laughs> you, almost a doctor. Oh, look at that. Phosphorescent paint. Ha! You are a charlatan. Good evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing picto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. Not only is he not a real doctor, he's not even a real friend. You got it. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave. That is unfair, sir. <laughs> the virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves. Well, here's some stories about two guys in the 1800s. Has your beverage been tested by your peers or any medical authority? I am a about, about, about a book and we it made. That you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help. About a consulting doc and or a consulting detective and a doctor. Helps and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here. Alone. And a fake product so to kill the pain. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. No. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people. How do you figure? Whoops. I help up to 50 people here every day. It is working. If we stay out much longer, I'm Oh, shut up, Watson. Okay, so... Thomas Tippett is destroying and distributing a cure of his own to the port's inhabitants. He seems to be on his own mission to help those in need. The police can be... In uh... Supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I think we tip off the cops. That's my suggestion, anyway. I believe it was on the back side of the pub. Okay, so we can either... Okay, the Holmesian thing to do is report him. But Watson said he's not... Okay, chat, I'm leaving it up to you. What do we do here? RPD says report him. Blink, what do you say? Report? All right, done. Constable, my name is Dr. Watson. A man called Thomas Tippett has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Please, stop him. I knew it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. Thanks, guys. 
Okay, haunted house haste case complete. Haste complete. All right, great. So that's uh, awesome. Now we got to find Dirty Summers, though. That's oops. That's the next uh, thing. What the hell? <laughs> that's the dumbest looking Holmes glasses ever. All right. Well, that's two. That's two. That's two closed cases just today. That feels pretty darn good. Um, we're still gotta we're still gotta figure out what what where Kimahia is. Soulsby's calling card. Actually, let's take a quick, take a look at some of the evidence here. Um, okay, we already talked to him. Um. Do we just... I, I'm going to start throwing other evidence at him. I'm just curious. Uh, was it the docks? Pier 3. Yeah. Let's have a little chit-chat. With this guy here. What are you gawping at? Mr. Souls... Alright. How do I fix so Okay. Well, Mr. Try a different one. And how do I Nope. Mr. S a man named Dirty S what? Okay, that's one. Bolts. A man Okay. Boulder. Okay. I don't know. I think we may be out of luck here. We did that one. Alright, so there must be... Oh, come on! So there must be something else that we're not... That I haven't done yet. Um, there must be some testimony we don't have yet. Wow. Blink, that's awesome. 200 since retirement. Oh, such a good one. Oh my goodness. Enjoy, man. That's that's a really good one. I haven't read enough Asimov. I really should mean read really should read more. But that is one that I have read. Alright. There must be something else. Excuse me, just one question. No, sir, I've never heard of it. Like we have this bit, this, this bit. We have to get three pieces of evidence past this guy that incriminate him. Or get him to talk. Am I doing something? I'm actually curious about something. What are you got, Mr. So? A 
man. What? Really? Uh, yeah, that's true. Give me one moment. I shall take. All right. Um, there must be someone we can talk to, or somewhere we can go, that will break this open. Hmm. Um. Can't go anywhere there. Nothing there. Watson keeps mentioning a meat pie. I wonder. Public house would have a meat pie, right? It. And presumably she just rants at me. People here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll all be forgotten. Well, if you say so. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Is there? May I ask you something? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. I mean, I could just wander around until I find this dude with a glass eye, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be very fruitful. Where's the, where are my irregulars? Let me send Wiggins after him. Or we're guns. If we're really gonna dive into the Cthulhu stuff here. Ouch. There we go. Had a cord stuck on my foot. able to help me. I can't tell you because I don't know. Oh man. Oh, come on. There has to be it has to be something to do with that guy on the dock. But I can't progress with him without more evidence, so... Ah, uh, man. What's all this, then? I did see that number 12 door. I wonder if that's got a, maybe that's got something to do with it. Hmm. Come along, John. Uh, nope. Could you help me? He's going to be useful later on. That gate is not insignificant. Uh, man. Random dude hammering something unnecessarily. Oh, now we're into something. Oh, still locked. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I got an idea. Oh, I got an idea. Realized I haven't turned detective vision on on the docks. Let's see if there's anything to be found. Uh, 
apparently not. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped, boys. Still complaining about your stomach. Much longer, yeah. I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Yeah, if you want to give one, that's fine. I, like I, I tagged this back seating loud, so if you've got a if you've got a non spoiler nudge, I'm happy to take it. Also, welcome, welcome, welcome. Anything about this? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Uh, I actually don't. So that maybe that is a. Oh, oh. You mean so this one has to is dialogue somewhere, right? Like presumably. Uh. Aha. Okay. Talk to the case participant. Okay, so like meaning so for from that one it's Roy Soulsby, right? Meaning, this dude. But the only option here is to accuse him, and I don't have enough evidence to, to do it. So, like, confront is read it out. I presume that means... So, like, this works. Right, I can I can get that green tick, but I don't have enough beyond that. Hmm. It's like I, I, this this would indicate to me that I need three. Pieces of evidence to, to... Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you see that question in the top left that changes? Oh, what is so... Oh my god, I completely missed that. What is Soulsby's connection to the crime? <laughs> oh. Okay. No, that's not right. Mr. So what crime? What is the crime? Who is the criminal? Okay. A man. Okay. Wow. All right. We've got a gift for that. Learning and growing. All right. What is what is Soulsby's connection to the crime? Uh, it's got to be this one, right? Yes. Okay. Got it. Choose. Okay. What is Soulsby's secret? Um, it's got to be this one, right? It's true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, N Shady Sixteen. Very, very much appreciated. You are a, a, a newcomer, a welcome, a welcome newcomer, and a hero. That makes things so much more clear. Also, since you're new, we're going to throw our, our traditional uh, question at you. Who is your favorite Batman villain, and why is it the Riddler? He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall. But yeah, that's red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. quite an impression. Well done, my friend. Well done. He's a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. <laughs> and blink with the gift cup. Gifts up. Oh, hush. 
Very good answer. Also an extremely good answer. That is... Well done. Very, very good answer. I am, I am also a huge fan of, of Hush. Alright, uh, so what are we doing now? We gotta talk to someone else. Uh, okay. Or did I already do that? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Alright, well, I got Soulsby's testimony. Hmm. Wait, did I? Hold on. I, sorry. I was so distracted by what was going on in the chat that I didn't actually pay attention to what he was saying. That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. If we stay out much longer. And Watson's still belly aching. Do you feel like a meat pie? Eh? Belly aching? I don't know why I'm taking the long way here. Oops, wrong one. I thought I, was, I saw something about going back to the pub here. We're gonna try it. Could we confront? Ah, yes. Confront. Do I have the feeling that you know more about dirty summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Wrong. What is the crime? Who is the criminal? I failed to. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, I need, um, hmm? I felt no. I, I felt Come on. I felt I What is the crime? Who is the criminal? Well, it should be that, right? I failed to follow. Oh boy. Do I have the feeling? I failed. All right, hold on. What is the crime? Where? Who is the criminal? I failed to follow. How is that not? Why do I? Why is it even putting this one in there? Like that's for another whole, a whole different thing. I've tried that one. It can't be that. Yep. Oh, okay. I, I thought I hit that one. Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Okay. How is the bartender connected to it? Um, a customs yep. officer, Roy Soulsby, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. I disagree with that. What is the bartender's secret? It can't be that. Oh, um... If the lives of the missing there we go. concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Mm, no. Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Okay. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hide my private room. All right, now we're moving forward. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know why. I must have bumped the button, moved it to a different option, like as it was, as I as I thought it was selecting the right one. Rusty key. Okay. All right. Uh, great. 
So that's going to be Pier 12. Got to be, right? Or Warehouse 12. Oh, door to the pub's private room. Nope, not there. Oh, is it? <laughs> In the pub, that would, you know, that would, that would track. No? Oh, yes. Okay. We found an investigation scene. Or we found a back door. One or the other. How have I managed that? Concentration. What are we seeing? Fresh scratches, deeply carved. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. I do! Five shillings. Uh, I did not play the previous game, Chapter 1. I just, I dove into this one, um... I... Because it caught my attention on a Steam sale, I think. I didn't realize that there was a previous game until after I had started this one. <laughs> Which was last, last, or was on Monday. Uh, the job is to move crates in the warehouse area. Dirty Summers hires men in the pub's private room. Presumably, maybe... I, I, am I correct in assuming there's, uh... Like, relevant content that sort of informs this? Parker Williams Company, Manchester, invoice number 012B. Sold to Oscar Summers, high quality sailcloth, packed in wooden crates, 50 crates, 50 pounds. All right. Oh, well, that was an easy scene. That's disappointing. They do assume a little bit of previous knowledge about mechanics. Oh, that's a, okay. Hmm, interesting. And some story on, so it's mostly standalone. Okay. Um, so I've been like my 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 backstory and shady is uh, I'm a librarian and I'm I've recently been really into both uh, Holmes and H.P. Lovecraft stuff, um, primarily the pastiche novels that James Lovegrove wrote in the last like five, ten years, um, which which mashes up the two. And. Uh, when I discovered this game, I was like, oh my gosh, it's more of the same. And I just, I was like, oh, I'm in between Mass Effect and Spider-Man on the stream. I'm just going to throw Sherlock Holmes down. And I've been having a really good time. So, uh, genuinely, like, we really do appreciate your help here. This is, that's, that's really, we, I mean, fantastic. All right. Let's see if I can put this together, put any, any, get any, uh. Oh, thank you for the new follow, by the way. We get to see my awesome little uh, gears animation and whatnot. And why not? Uh, shout out to Forgies for that. Um, let's see if we get anywhere with this. Ah, we got it all. Nice. In a warehouse holding sales marked with red paint. <laughs> Warehouse 12, right? Uh, Dirty Summers has hired men for warehouse work specifically. Okay, cool. So now we know where Kimihia, Kimihia is. Uh, and we know... So that's map, pin. Okay, well, we know where we're going. We absolutely know where we're going. This game starts slow but ramps up steadily. Yeah, that's... I, I mean... It's, it's a strong testament to this game that, like, yeah, it started painfully slow. Like, we got through a chapter in two hours the other day, and now I'm just like, oh, I'm still really into this. Like, it's super fun. Um, what do we got? Where am I going? Warehouses, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just jump there. And head right to Warehouse 12. Since we uh, saw that earlier on. That's three. A 
11. It's right up the stairs. Might be down the hall or down the way a little bit. Where did I see it? Once you realize you're they direct your investigation to those symbols. It keeps you on the rails and you move quickly through chapters. Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay more attention to that moving forward. Um, that is genuinely tremendously helpful. Get out of my way, Watson. Um, 10, 8. I think I'm going the wrong way here. <laughs> the numbers are decreasing. That seems incorrect. I've been, I found it like three or four times now. Five. Two. Well, we've already been to two, and we've already been to five, so. One. Ah, dang it. Out of my way. My way. Why? Wait. Why is it raining in a bridge? Like, is the roof really that leaky? Someone needs to get a Thatcher out here right away. Yes, warehouse 12, okay. Aha! Margaret. Uh, I was thinking Will, but, you know. Okay. High bend, low bend, medium bend, I think. Let's try that. Not quite. Oh, okay. So my first one's too much. My second one's not enough. All right. That last one's not quite enough. This is cool. This is a cool little mini game. Ah, too much. picked. Investigation scene found. Let's go in. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Oh, he mentions Mycroft. Look at that. All right. What do we got here? We've got... Looks like a worn out sheet. Probably a sail. Quality, but torn in many spots. Mold. Okay. That's why you don't leave cell cloth lying out. Okay, good. Got some scratches here. It looks like someone lifted something, maybe? A cart. Dried mud, part of Port of London soil.
That's a crowbar. Is Gordon Freeman here? There it's Minecraft holes. <laughs> Now that is a game I would not play. <laughs> and it's not that I have anything against Minecraft, in fact, quite the opposite. Uh, but it just puts me a little too close to my students. I'm a teacher, a public school librarian, that's what I do. This crank saw some use. I'm sure it did. Uh, I don't see anything that way, so let's head up the stair. Oh, we got a gurney. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. Let's head up the stairs. My students spend a lot of time trying to get me to play one game it's or another stuck. with them. No one's used it. I won't, I won't do it. Time. Okay. Well oiled and well maintained. <laughs> no, RPD, you try to get me to play games that are silly, and sometimes you succeed. Get that crank. Yes. Yeah, can I put it in there? Yeah, I can. I think I just did, Watson. A hidden passage, just as I expected. Really, Holmes. Oh. Okay. Hey, look at that. Here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. <laughs> okay. Buckle up, he says, uh, and, and Shady says. Are we about to get Lovecraftian up in here? Hope so. Very... Wait, what's happening? It's a bit trippy. I've lost control. Yep, that's uh it sure is Lovecraftian. What, what is this place? Where am I? This looks like the domain of Nyarn and Yarn Yar. Sammy would be thrilled, RPD and blank. Blackstone Dias. Strangely cold. Something is missing. This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? The only way forward is the abyss. The only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. Oh, I can see my own footprints in detective vision. At least I presume they're on my own footprints. Strangely cold. Something is missing. Okay. It's the same thing over again. Just backpedaling for a minute here. Have I missed anything? 
Doesn't look like it. What indeed could be spooky in a basement? Wait, the only way forward is the abyss? <laughs> That's gone well. Phew. I didn't die. It is icy cold and pulsating. Ithaqua? No. Once more. Crunch. That is truly bizarre. Oh dear. Short stride boot prints. Something, something. Kiernak could do something. I can't read it. Is it in real Yayan? Hit the abyss once more. Crunch. through that. Just dropping cages off. This is probably bad. Yeah, it just slams shut on you. They all come back! No, same reset. Missing something. Really about out of the box thinking and illogicalities. Wait a minute. Didn't do that. Oh, man. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm just curious here. Okay. Uh... About 15 seconds. But if I run, it's shorter. Like, if I get close to it, it closes. What if I get further away from it? You should be able to. But if you get close to it, it closes. Is 
See? Just slams close. You do seem like I'm more than halfway, but... It does go really slowly if I don't move. But as soon as I, as soon as I... Slow walk it. Haha. <laughs> okay. I was running. My sense of urgency took over. Oh, I'm somewhere else. How? Wow. Learning and growing. To breathe here. Well, there's a downward. What oh, is that? that's lovely. It's like it stares right through me. Well. <laughs> Does it not? Okay, back where I started. Whoa. The eye closes in detective vision. Oh, that's crazy. And really cool. This is gonna be Dreamlands, right? If I had to subscribe a Arkham Horror Outer World to it. Okay, so the further away from that I get, the closer it gets to being a bridge. Thresher Maw or some sort of Mass Effectian situation. Did you look around when the eye was closed? I did not. I should have done that. Oh, it only... It's like it stares right through me. As soon as I take my eyes off it... Oh, there's the door. Okay. Oh, 
hold on a second. I wonder. Because this would put me at a strange angle. Can I see? Okay, so it looks like I have to get the eye to close in order to open the door. So I'm going to have to back my way out of the door. There's no way to jump. At least not that I could see. Uh... Those line up up above? What happens if I just... Okay. I'm doing this out of morbid curiosity. What if I just go and... That's what I thought. Okay. Yep. There's a path over this way. Which puts me up above. Exactly as I expected. I think I gotta go even higher than that. Yeah, see it. The further away I get, like it is basically almost a bridge when I stand right here. So. can't imagine it's that way. Although it might be. Well, this is interesting. Oh, interest oh, cool. I found the Cthulhu sigil and it locked the bridge in place. Sort of. Which now allows me to do this. Turn around. Turn on detective vision and back through the door. Head is already spinning. When will this end? Uh, I can't guarantee that it will. There are two recesses. I mean, I need two parts. Okay. Uh, one for, okay. We got doors, sort of, everywhere. Uh, the main door is there. It would be very on brand for this to not follow rule of threes. Okay. I don't see. Alright, this is gonna be like one of those weird never ending hallways, right? On my head. What just happened? So I'm gonna have to pick the right one to go through. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, so it wasn't that. So we're just going to start counting them off. Second door. There it is. 
Size 9 clear edges. Bung for fi. That was the second door. Let's try third door. <laughs> what kind of trickery is this? I'm finding some stuff. But I have a feeling that the boot print direction is important. Found boot prints in the two inner ones. These ones go this way. Sconce. Oh. Oh, that's just truly revolting. Well, got one of them. Frozen and pulsing almost like it has a heart. Does it not? Oh, is it walk? That's a nuisance. It's always frustrating when, uh, one down, one to go. It's always frustrating to me when the game is like, here, you can run, and then they're like, mm, yeah, just kidding. Preying on a, a, a gamer's sense of urgency. Okay, so these footprints go back the other way. Oh, what flavor tonight? Uh, it's uh, peach paradise. Maybe not a heart per se, but definitely some kind of organ. Oh, you're right, it is testing you on what you've already learned. Look at that. <laughs> oh! Okay. Check this out. Yep. It's the eye. It's the same puzzle we've already, we just saw. Okay, that's actually kind of clever. Strange stone. It almost feels alive. At this point, I can run. All right, what do we got this time? The elder beings have pet rocks. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> I 
Okay. That was kind of foolish, but we're, th we're there. I think they ran out of ideas on that last bridge. Am I... Did I get out? No, you sure didn't. That's Big Daddy right behind you. And this guy is dead. John? What is it, Holmes? Oh, now I'm in control of Watson? It, oh, it did. It definitely got me twice, that is for sure. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough info yet. Oh, boy. Oh, Watson just immediately comes in. Watson. Check case book follows him. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to wrap it up pretty quickly here, uh, Shady. Um, but I will be back to this on Monday. We will be doing uh, miniatures painting tomorrow night uh, right around. Well, ten, right around 10 p.m. Eastern. Holmes. Holmes. And I hope you I hope you stop by again. Thank you so much for your help today. You've been absolutely invaluable. I'm um, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine. I'm basically gonna get through this cutscene. Uh, we'll call just it. A game of shadows. Holmes suddenly has five o'clock shadow. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Something that's finally interesting. Okay, um, we need to find out who the dead man on the altar is, but that's fine. Uh, well, that's just a map exploration thing, it looks like. Oh, this is just zoom. Okay, we got another investigation scene here. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. Amulets of the Cult of Cthulhu. An American passport. Amos... That's a passport? <laughs> Pennsylvania Lane, Boston, Massachusetts. Sort of pithing needle. I don't know. It's a dagger. I've never seen a pattern like this before. Take it. You might want it. Discrepancy detected. Sorry, RPD. I'm not holding up my passport for uh, comparison's sake. Oh, there we go. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Given name, Amos Colby. Hair color red, eye color brown. Date and birth, okay, Boston, Massachusetts. Why Boston? Why not Arkham? Old bloodstains. Old bloodstains, that's wildly specific. All right, what do we got now? Lilu Dallas multi-passport. <laughs> Little Dallas multipass. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She knows what it is. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. Experiments on what? It seems made for simple experiments. Okay, that's the one I already I got. wager they could not afford a better set. Uh, 
Uh, what if I concentrate? Okay, no concentration triggers. Uh, ritual candles for sure. There we go. What is it? This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. All right, 17 something. I hope we are close to finding our answers. This place is unsettling. All right, well, we got something here. This abdomen is severely bloated. Broken nails, dried mud crumbs. Needle prick. Told you. Pithing needle. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. That tracks. Okay, that's part one. Uh... There's got to be something else. Yep, let's eliminate the impo improbable or the impossible. Yeah, there's stuff down here. I had a feeling there might be. Looks like the scribbling of madness. That would be really re in script, Holmes. Yeah. That's got to be right. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Tracks. Miserable food, mass produced. Crab? Why not Zoidberg? Silent Green. Silent Green is people! Have you ever watched that movie, Blink? It is a, a trashy disaster in, you know, a very unlike the room way. All right, I got, I got it. what, half of it? No, two, two fifths of it. A disaster. Yeah, that is for sure. All right, here we go. Now we're talking. We got a thing. Scratches, bloodstains, and torn fingernails. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. A small bloodstain, but not serious. Okay. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. All right. Go. Another two. What's the other option here? No. Definitely not that. Alright, what else we got? Three fifths of the way there now. There's probably like an altar in the middle of the room, right? Ah, here we go. Here's the thing. Holmes, are you sure you've left no stone unturned? Well, that's the way out, okay. Hmm. Uh, what about down, oh, down the way? Perhaps? 
go for the two level effect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Who are these people? Uh, <laughs> watch them be like, are, are these just portraits of devs? It looks like this might be like just a hidden room with, with dev portraits. Because these people look way too modern. I told you that black cat was a bad omen. We shouldn't be here. Give the birds the narcotics. Leave no, leave no turn unstoned. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Oh jeez. Sorry. When my mom texts at this hour, it's usually not good. And uh. Being that my daughter is sleeping there tonight, I kind of panicked. Alright, where is the rest of this? Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Hmm. I mean, we can't put it together until we have all the clues set. How is that possible? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, we got something over here. More scratchings. Okay. Mud. Intentional drawing. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? I don't know, but I bet you'll find it out. Human hair. Okay. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. That seems wildly specific, even for you, Holmes. Same red cross on the door of Warehouse 12. Yeah, and Warehouse 2, though. Interestingly. We're missing one piece. It locks you into a very specific, like, radius here, which makes it kind of difficult to find your target. 
There we go. Wildly specific. It's this rope. Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. Okay. And that should, yep, give us the next one. Let's figure out where this is going to be. Dude tied up. No, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, dude tied up with blade. Mm, maybe. Yeah, it's got to be that. Has to be. Can I get behind the statue? No. There's no trigger on Cthulhu anymore. Interestingly. I'm going to go back down into the cellar here. Maybe it's opened up the trigger. Because so everything's happened in order so far. Who are these people? No. Ah, here we go. I must have seen this one before. That explains my hallucinations. Well, that wasn't it. Um, that's the way out. Or a way out. Hmm. It's like a scuttling noise, and I'm not digging. So, interestingly, in the Holmes books, this is, like, this sort of investigation where he just walks around and stares at things for a while is actually extremely common and kind of drives Watson in insane. He's like, you're going to spend the next, like, three hours just staring at, at things and walking around in circles. Cheap food. All right, hold on. I want to get this scene done. <laughs> I try to understand, the more it frightens me, Holmes. Hmm. Ah. 
Aha. I found it. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Dumpra, a staple of Lecturemen's attire in Nepal. Gathered from dozens of people at the very least. All right. I don't think this is entirely correct. Yeah, the first one was wrong. All right. Which one was that? That was the... Uh... One of the ones up here. Okay. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. That tracks. He was strangled to death on this altar. And we got a cinematic. Uh, what, what the hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. Oh no! Not again! Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Spaceballs. What is it? Oh my god. Serpent people? Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken and that's where you're wrong watson we have more than enough i just need to connect the dots how about you pack your suitcase in the meantime my dear fellow just in case and suddenly we're back at baker street huh Oh, I got the passport. Oh. No good there. Aha! Amos Colby from the Northwood Agency in Boston, Massachusetts. Where have the abducted been sent to? Give it a shot. Two. Got it. Black Edelweiss Institute, Switzerland.
Hold on. Um, search for, search this in the archives. All right, what are the archives? Yeah, I'm I'm burning out pretty quick here. Blank. It's hard to know how much to pack. I might bring a spare notebook just in case. Drink. <laughs> Cheers. Please tell me we're going somewhere warm, or at the very least, dry. Before I leave, I should know where I'm going. Well, I, I, we have, we, I mean, I know roughly where I'm going. Archives. Oh, search for this in the archives. Duh. Okay. Trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? What am I waiting for, RPD? Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. This should put us into chapter three. Should. Professor Gygax, I thought we were getting into Call of Duty. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I was like, wait a minute, Gygax? Edelweiss, alone. Alone? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. That's not strictly true. A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. Professor Gygax. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. Is Watson supposed to be crying? Because this animation's kind of crappy. Yeah, he is, for sure, but... That's not how tears flow. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? Tears go this way, oh. not this way. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? Realizing my thumbnail here is probably too small to actually have shown any of that, but whatever. How many people could... Thirty years ahead of you. Dozens? Hundreds? Paget was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with... I am Dr. John Watson. May I look around? Chapter 3? Maybe? Swiss Alps? Okay, spatial sound, kind of cool with the crow moving, like it did like this. The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facilities to a fellow physician. 
I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. Every time that Holmes does that, it's a setup to make fun of Watson later. Some say that near the, some say near the Swiss border, the events of Retro Puppet Master are taking place. All we know is it's headed by the Stig. Okay, chapter three. Perfect. The Mountains of Madness. All right, we're getting into some proper Lovecraft stuff now. And that, well, Edelweiss seems to do. And with that, we we shall bid you adieu. All right, uh, it is time to call it for the night. Thank you for hanging out, tuning in. Big thanks to N Shady for uh, for busting over, busting up some of the uh, game mechanics for us and and breaking it down so we can have a little bit of an easier time moving forward we will pick watson up this uh right right here in this lobby of this uh what looks like a nut house i'll be honest um on monday but tomorrow night uh hopefully the boys and i are back and finally gonna put the finishing touches on mr fantastic um i don't have my new paints yet jacqueline has yet to send them but uh soon soon tm uh thank you for tuning in thank you for hanging out thank you thank you for liking commenting subscribing all that stuff uh, and we will talk to you very soon. Bye.